Hallelujah and praise the Lord. This is Jim Wilson coming to you from the control room right here at 222 North 6th Street. Almost said 220. That was her old address right here in Quincy, Illinois. And we're going to be talking to you today about how to hook up an indoor and an outdoor antenna to your DISH network receiver so you can get WTJR. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this if you're trying to get WTJR, now here's an indoor antenna. This could be a bow tie, rabbit ears, or an outdoor antenna, but for this demonstration, this is going to represent our antenna. Just remember, channels 7 and 10 are VHF channels, so this is a UHF antenna. UHF is smaller, VHF is a little bit bigger. That's why rabbit ears, VHF, UHF, bow tie. So if you're going to get both of them, you need the kind of antenna that would get both of them. Now, I'm not saying this won't get 7 and 10. It will get 7 and 10, but the quality won't be as good. So anyways, the easiest way to do it is to hook your digital antenna to your DTV set. This is one with the built-in tuner. Any newer set has one sold for, I don't know, last two years. Scan your channels, optimize your antenna, hang it up on the wall, and you've got WTJR. And you say, well, I've got the DISH network. Here's the solution for that. With the, the easiest solution right out of the box is you have the DISH network satellite receiver, and one of the ports here is labeled to the satellite DISH, satellite in. So you hook your satellite in here. Now you'll notice we have other ports available to us. Now we come out the audio and video cable in to the television set. So in this case, you switch between the audio and video and the TV to receive. This would be coming through on your audio and video. You would pick up your remote and you could turn it, you know, uh, with your satellite receiver remote. And then your television remote would have the built-in tuner. You would switch back to TV, and then you would tune that. Well, you'd have two remotes. That would be a drawback. Unless your remote, and many of them do, are like a four-in-one remote, then you could program it to do both functions. Now, that's one method. Now, another method, if, and most people have audio and video input ports, or you could have, let's just check, take a quick check here. You could have HDMI ports that come from here right into your DISH network receiver, still leaving, by the way, the antenna jack open to go to an antenna and scan your channels. Now let's take a look at this here. The newer DISH network receivers have a built-in digital tuner. So you're able to hook now, it depends on the model. Now, the DISH network uh, receivers are constantly changing, but this one says TV antenna cable in. So I hook my outdoor indoor antenna here, and now the DISH network receiver, I could still use my audio and video cable out, or, you know, the old method would be to use a coaxial cable out. This would come off this other port here, and then hook in and come in like on channel three. But most people aren't doing it that way anymore. That's called a modulated output. And that way you wouldn't have this cable here. You would just have this cable going in. Then all your channel tuning and, uh, would go on inside the receiver. It would be switching between the DISH network satellite channels and the DTV channels. But all modern televisions have some form of video input. So there's no reason to be degrading your quality by using a loop through RF system to get your main signal. So the satellite would be hooked in through composite video, HDMI, S-video, whatever your receiver supports here. Then you change the channels. You just turn your set to video. Then you would change the channels using this box. And in this case, since we have the outdoor antenna and the satellite dish hooked here, and if, if your receiver has a built-in TV tuner, then you're able to switch internally with the DISH network remote control and go back and forth. So there's two, the easiest method though, and this, this method works with the right receiver, is to use the built-in digital tuner on your television set, hooked directly to the outdoor antenna or indoor antenna, and use the audio and video cable in to your Dish Network receiver or Direct TV receiver. Well, God bless you. We're going to keep this one short, and we'll be posting this on our webpage, wtjr.org. Back to you in the studio.